What's up everyone, it's Amrash here. I'm bringing you some gameplay from my favorite Call of Duty. It's really a great feeling to finally have a Call of Duty I enjoy playing again. And I'm not talking about Infinite Warfare. There we go. Anyways, we're playing on Downpour. You can tell it's Downpour because it's raining and it says Downpour. Anyways, we joined the game in progress and immediately they told us that we were getting dominated. Now it's a free country so people can get dominated if they like it. But it was Sunday night and I was not in the mood to be dominated so I decided it was up to me alone to change this. So as you can see, I'm using the scorpion because no one else does. I quickly realized when no one else does because instead of shooting bullets, it shoots compressed air at the enemies. Somehow I managed to get two kills. I thought about quitting because I was two and two at this point, but I figured for the good of the team, I should persevere. So here I am taking the scenic route of the map. I pull out my silence M1911 and showcase my tremendous accuracy by not getting a single hit marker in any of those shots. Because my gun was silenced, I didn't even manage to damage his hearing. So that went about as well as staying alive in 2016 has for celebrities. I pulled out my smoke grenade ready to suffocate this man, but the game decided it was time for the Super Bowl halftime show. The song for the halftime show was easily the most popular song found on YouTube videos when this game first came out. Moving on. In this game, the M16 is virtually a one-hit kill, but don't worry, while this pistol is not a killing machine, it does in fact bring in assists, like ladies in a low-budget axe commercial, but hey, at least I hit someone this time, making progress. I throw smoke as a distraction and move to the right, but then I get killed by my mortal enemy, a house. At this point, the enemy team had a much higher score than us, but little did they know domination is played like golf where the lowest score wins, so I was extremely confident of a victory. In fact, I channeled my inner Nostradamus by looking at the radar for a second. You know what they say about lightning, it always strikes the same place twice. In fact, I already had more kills than the lightning on the map did, so I was doing a lot better than expected. Also, this is not camping, I was just practicing my mannequin challenge. I was on a two kill streak, so naturally I was very excited. I tried to knife this lamp for my third kill, but it rejected me. I ran down the hallway with tears in my eyes looking for comfort, but I only found bullets. My Xbox tried to distract me by telling me the random taco was online. I already knew that because he was in my game. I wanted to go tell him the news that he's online, but I came across him practicing Michael Jackson dance moves and didn't want to bother this obviously private moment. I did so well the rest of the game that I was awarded the prestigious defeat medal. Maybe one day I'll make a guide on how to get this medal, it's really difficult, it takes a lot of practice and determination. But I took this defeat medal with pride and moved on to my next game. The next game started off stellar as I got killed behind a container filled with copies of Infinite Warfare. As I respawned I tried to get across the map smoke grenade kill, but I didn't get it this time. I'll keep trying though. It's all about believing in yourself, I know it. The enemy team got a helicopter in the air. I had to protect these watermelons from the helicopter, so I threw my last smoke grenade in a desperate attempt to save them. I died so that watermelon could live. I figured it's probably time to get a knife kill. I leave the enemy alive so I can go in for the knife, but then I see a better target. The wall. I quickly turn around and kill the other guy, preserving the greatest double kill Call of Duty has ever seen. Somewhere Jason Statham is staring at the sky, wondering why he can't be like it's a mirage. It's okay Jason. One day I'll teach you. This is just a friendly reminder that Random Taco did in fact do 9-11. Later in the game, my whole life flashed before my eyes. It was still better than Suicide Squad. I don't think I spent enough time talking about the Scorpion, so here's a clip showcasing its tremendous range and accuracy. Bombs rained on us like we were the subject of Outkast's new song, Bombs Over Backlot. I hid in fear in the smoke. It was a good thing the game ended because when the smoke cleared, it turned out that I was about to disappear faster than Pokemon Go did over the summer. I won a very respectable 9 and 21, but since this is an objective game mode, kills and deaths don't matter. I captured three objectives and defended one, meaning I was just okay. Random Taco led the losing team, which has to be pretty embarrassing. I asked him to comment on this, but he gave no response. But anyways, that's it for this video guys. I hope you enjoyed me playing Modern Warfare. I'm really glad to be playing this again. I'll hopefully be bringing you more videos from this game. And I have to get back on Battlefield because I really miss that game too.
If you guys liked it, leave a comment below. Click the like button. Uh, subscribe if you haven't. I'll see you guys next time. See you.